People say a picture is worth a thousand words, and it's what I think draws me back to the animated short film for The Girl from the Other Side so often. Direct by Yutoro Kubo and Satomi Mayo, produced by Studio Wit, and based on the manga of the same name, it follows a day in the life of an otherworldly creature known as Teacher, and a little girl called Shiva. And despite having no dialogue, I think it says everything it needs to in its visuals. Teacher and Shiva are defined by their contrast, both in their designs and personalities, with Teacher in his tailored black clothes being this overly wary parental figure, while Shiva, in her simple white dress, is a playful kid who's barely aware of what she stumbles into. To me, they embody adulthood and childhood respectively, and as a result impart those concepts onto their respective colours. Which I find especially interesting to consider when looking at the way the adult characters use white, with the colour of Teacher's kitchen and his shirt giving him an air of friendly openness, while the sheet, the beast and the woods wraps around itself creates an illusion of innocence just strong enough to lure someone in. Through its characters, the short imbues its colours with strong thematic meaning, which lets it explore the differences between them as it wonders what the line is between being an adult and being a child. And I think its answer lies in the nature of its world. Its creatures seem inherently corruptive, as they transform anything they touch into things like them, implying that adulthood is an all-consuming change, something from which there's no going back, and one that seems to come from the realization of how dangerous the world can be. It's Teacher, not Shiva, who's wary of the beast, and who assumes the worst when he finds Shiva missing and his window wide open. When approached by the beast in a nightmare, it's not until Shiva pushes it away that she, and more specifically, the hand she used to defend herself, starts to change. Here, the difference between adulthood and childhood is implied to be one's awareness of this world's dangers. It's a terrifying thing to come to terms with, not just from learning about what can hurt oneself, but because of the awareness one develops about how much one can hurt others. Something that's shown through Teacher's behaviour around Shiva. He's very careful about the way he interacts with her, knocking bowls off the table to get his hand away from hers and hesitating to wake her up as he tries to find a way to do so without actually touching her. He forces himself to maintain a safe distance to keep her out of harm's way from himself emphasizing the kind of interpersonal troubles adulthood creates, as this adult struggles to get close enough to show he cares while still maintaining enough distance so no one gets hurt. And as sad as that sounds, I don't think the short sees it as an inherently bad thing. It shows how Shiva still appreciates what Teacher does for her, how she smiles at the burnt pancakes he made for her, and how excited she is as he brings her out onto the lake in the middle of the night just so she can see the stars. Teacher doesn't need to say or do anything outright for his feelings to get across, a message I think is pretty fitting for this short in particular. What I love about The Girl from the Other Side is, very simply, how it says so much with so little. And yeah, those are my thoughts. Bit of a short one, I know, but I'm working on something a little more intensive for November, so I figured a quick vid would be better than nothing. Especially since it's one I've had on the back burner for quite a while now. Though, fun fact, the only reason I even watched this short was just because of how surprised I was to see a Japanese animation using any amount of Irish. Since its subtitle, Shularoon, is the name of an old Irish folk song that apparently has no real connection to the story beyond a vague thematic link because the manga's editor suggested it as the mangaka was struggling to actually think of a name for it. Yes, this is just me rambling about random details I couldn't find a way to slip into the main video. How could you tell? Anyway, hope you're staying safe, wearing a mask, keeping your distance, washing your hands, getting vaccinated if you can, and let me know what you think. If you disagree, disagree whether or not you've read the manga for the girl from the other side that I hope to eventually get around to, etc. And thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this and want to see more, then check out my last video, where ramble about my top things of summer 2021, or watch me talk about my fascination with Studio Ghibli's love for nature and the environment. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe to come fly with me. Hit the bell, stay notified, follow me on Twitter for more updates, ramblings, and poor attempts at humor. Follow me on Instagram for semi-regular art stuff, and hopefully, I'll see you later.